Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I'm here with a review for Witchcraft Survivors on PC. Now, this is coming out in November 2023. Developed and published by Catpix Studios. Now, they were kind enough to send me a copy of the game so I could have a play, do this video, so big thank you to them for that. Now, this is a, another one of those awesome action roguelike RPG sort of auto shooter games. I've been covering quite a lot of these on the channel recently. It's currently like my favourite genre video game right now. I can sit, I can play them for half an hour, or I can play them for like two hours at a time. So it's great for me, like around my just general life. And they don't take too much sort of effort to play. I can sort of chill, play them, and have a laugh, which is all I want to do. Now, this one, I really recommend you keep your eyes on. Like I say, it's not out right now. It's coming to early access and everything. You can currently wishlist it on Steam and download a demo to play it, and I highly recommend you do. It's got full control support on Steam as well as Steam achievements, and honestly, this has tons of potential. Now, art style-wise, it looks quite nice. I especially like the sort of ability attacks and sort of special like magic abilities and stuff. They do look really cool on screen. Barring that, it's very sort of 2D, low-poly, pixelated graphics. And it works really well. Now, this game plays very similar to the other games in this genre. You have a selection of different heroes you can choose. You start off with one and you can purchase more with coins that you collect during your runs. Now each hero has their own spells, sort of upgrade paths, their own sort of strengths and weaknesses and everything like that. And I thought that was really cool. It gives you a reason to keep playing to unlock more characters. Now You'll then choose a stage and do a run. Now, a run usually takes sort of like 10 minutes to half an hour, depending on how well you're doing. And you'll kill enemies by doing like auto attacks. When you kill an enemy, sometimes they drop these crystals that give you XP. You collect enough of them, you level up. You can pick from sort of three ability upgrades. Now, these can be sort of generic ones that give you... Better stats, sort of like you move quicker, you heal faster, stuff like that. Or they give you new like abilities, sort of new attacks, new magic and stuff like that. Very similar so far to all the other games in the sort of genre. Gives you the stats on the screen when you level up so you can sort of see what percentage you're at. Whether you're like at 100 or more. So you can see where to build your sort of stats up. And... Yeah, in that sense, it, hit, it hits all the sort of boxes I would want. It ticks everything I want this game to do. But that's not all. Like There are differences to this game that I really like. Now, one of them is you have sort of resurrections. So sometimes you will be able to unlock abilities that once you die, you can then resurrect yourself and keep playing with like a limited amount of health, which I think is great because sometimes you just get stuck or just... Just too many enemies on screen or something and you just can't progress. However, like I say, this one gives you that option to come back. One other thing I like about this game, it has a variety of different difficulty settings. So you can make the game harder or easier to suit your playstyle. On top of that, there's different game modes. So you can set the game to play in a variety of different ways. Sort of, some of them are like quicker base some of them basically change the entire sort of way the game plays and there's also a variety of different stages each of these stages have their own monsters and bosses and you'll slowly but surely like I say work through them as you progress now the desert stage itself though is pretty cool because that is an endless mode it never ends whereas all the other modes you have like a time limit you get to the end you've beat the stage this one you've just got to keep playing until you die and you can also upgrade your characters as well once you've completed a run each character like clash you pick has its own sort of character xp that you gain when playing with them once you've finished a game you can then basically upgrade yourself permanently 
ever so slightly, but the more you play, the stronger you will get. And that, I thought, was really cool. There's also uh, gold, like I say, which can be used for new characters, but also general upgrades in the in-game store. So, all in all, it's really, really cool. Like I say, you get um, rewards for unlocking achievements, you get your character XP, which can be spent on each of the character classes, and you get your sort of general store as well. So, it adds a lot to the game. Now, in each of the levels... And the stages there's a variety of enemies and like bigger bosses that you've got to fight there's treasure chests to find and all that sort of stuff everything you've come to expect from this genre but like i said this game isn't even out yet it's got a whole month till it comes out and it's coming out in early access as well but so far like i said what i played was very fun very enjoyable and very polished for what it's trying to do with a lot of content so all I can say is, if you like this type of game, if you've played Vampire Survivors and you love it, definitely give this one a check out on Steam. I've had an absolute blast playing it right now, and it's one of the best ones I've played so far this year. So check it out. You can't go wrong with it. Chat Pick Studios have done a fantastic job. And I'll also stick a link in the sort of description below so you can get onto the steam page and try out that demo but that's that for this video guys hit that like button hit subscribe and leave a comment down below let us know what you think of this game because honestly i've had a blast playing it and i've got it ready to go at a moment's notice when i've got sort of like half an hour to spend because it's literally the sort of action roguelike that i'm most enjoying right now but that guys thanks for watching we'll see you soon